Hello friends, a stub column is a type of column whose length is very small and does not connect to the footing directly. So it does not have a footing or pedestal and relies on a beam or slab to transfer loads. The stub column acts as a point load on a beam on which it rests. The height of the stub column is very low which is why buckling failure is rarely observed. It is constructed between different floors to transfer loads and improve the stiffness of the building and create symmetrical load distribution. It is a redundant compression element. Now let us understand the applications of stub columns. A stub column is provided to transfer loads from beam to footing in case of strap footing. It increases the stiffness of a building. It creates symmetry in geometry and load distribution in a building. For instance, when a room span is more or in the case if the geometry of various floors is not symmetrical. It can be used to improve the aesthetic view of the building. A stub column may be employed to reduce the deflection of beam in case of long span beams. It helps with safe and reliable transfer of loads from one beam to another. We understood the applications of stub columns, but there is one disadvantage of it. A stub column increases the shear force in a beam on which it is rested, and the beam may fail in shear, so the beam's cross section should be increased, which may be uneconomical in certain circumstances. So friends, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.